It's hugely popular on YouTube, and the Thai military government doesn't want anyone to see it. The video condemning the nation's leadership, made by a group called Rap Against Dictatorship, has had more than 20 million views in just two weeks, which has created some of the first big waves of political controversy in the run-up to the much-delayed election scheduled for February. Prime Minister Preo Chenocha has said Thais who watch, share or even like the video will share the responsibility of the damage it does to the country. One of the rappers in the video, known as Jacoboy, thinks that the government's reaction to the song is one of the reasons for its popularity. We don't have a fixed goal of what we want to see, but we want this song to spread like a contagious disease and engage people into expressing their opinions. For me, this is considered as a success. He expects that he is and will continue to be watched by the government intelligence and security agencies. So a lot of younger people now will be voting for the first time. They'll be eligible, uh, close to 10% of the electorate. And this is a new voice. So I think that have been activated, socialized through the new media technology, social media and so on. So we're seeing them uh, taking more action. Sutep Tawakzaban here was the leader of the protest movement that shut down Bangkok and ultimately led to the coup four years ago. Now he's leading a more traditional political movement as things ramp up before the planned elections. He has publicly denounced the rap video. Another group of young artists hoping that their voices will be heard. A punk band called NRT Partai, Thai for Anarchy. They're worried that the police will shut down their concerts, but insist that expressing criticism of the government is a basic right. The band members don't reveal their names and cover their faces. We don't intend to incite people at all. We are angry with the government. We do satirical rants against what the government called return to happiness. When compared to the rappers, we are punk, and when we curse, we curse. We express our hatred. The hope for the NRT Pattai band members is that someday soon they can perform their music that carries their message freely without covering their faces. Scott Hadler, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.